Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to make your phone look like it's running stock jelly bean on my Samsung Galaxy S3. This will work with any phone, any Android phone, but it's pointless if you're going to try this on a Nexus. And your phone will also have to meet the system requirements for the apps we install. This doesn't require any root or hacking or any like or anything like that. <clears throat> so you won't have to worry about hacking your phone or rooting it or whatever if you don't want to do it. That's fine. This will work without it. <clears throat> you just install some apps from the Play Store. And it's also completely free. So what are you waiting for? Just grab your Android phone and I'm going to show you how to make your phone look like it's running stock Android. So, this is your lock screen. And it looks pretty similar to the Nexus lock screen. You can go to the camera, Google, or you can just unlock your phone. For now, I'm just going to unlock my phone. And as you can see, this looks pretty close to stock jelly bean. Okay, and there's also a special thing I can show you how to install if you want to get this wallpaper I have. So anyway, let's go to the Play Store and search for Nova Launcher. Oh yes, and this is your keyboard here. I've also got a Jelly Bean keyboard which also has native swipe well not swipe but something google calls uh, gesture typing <coughs> okay so you should come across a free app and a prime app of NOLA launcher made by tesla coil software Okay. So, you can either shell out the money, the 3 or $4 or I don't know how much, but it's around that price point. You can shell out the money to buy the prime version of NOLA Launcher, but most users will be fine with the free version of NOLA Launcher. Okay? So, go ahead, install it, and I'm going to show you how to configure it now. Okay, so now what you're want, going to want to do is, if your phone has a menu button, you're going to have, on Samsung phones, it looks like this. So you're going to have to press it and tap Nova settings. Oh yes, and when you press your home screen, if it asks you if you want to use Sense Launcher or H or TouchWiz Launcher or whatever, or, or Nova Launcher, select Nova Launcher and say always. Okay? So, most of the stuff we are going to mess with here are in the look and feel section. So, the icon theme is the biggest thing. The default is basically it will just keep the stock Samsung or HTC or whatever icons you originally had by that were in made by our OEM but stock jelly bean is for like if you really want pure Google you should choose stock jelly bean because that's what Google intended them to look like so I've chose stock jelly bean and I'm going to leave it like that so scroll speed I'm assuming you can read that but when you install it you'll probably be able to read it and this is completely up to you guys same thing with animation speed and app animation now app animation you can use a system so it would open apps like you like Samsung or HTC wanted them to open 
ice cream sandwich it'll open them like it did an ice cream sandwich and jelly bean it'll open them like it would in jelly bean okay so that's it for Nova Launcher okay so now the next piece of software we're going to have to install is called Hololocker so so search for Hololocker oops uh. Ugh. Whatever, I'll just tap. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, Hola Locker here. You can also shell out the. Uh, oh, crap. You can also shell out the $1.99, it looks like, for the paid version of Hola Locker. But the free version will do you just fine. So go ahead, install it, and there's really nothing much to configure in the app settings, but there is some stuff to configure in your actual phone settings. Okay, so now you're going to have to open up your phone settings, not Nova settings, your phone's system settings. So in my phone, I can just swipe down and tap the gear in the right hand corner top right corner and <clears throat> here you are going to have to go to sound and disable screen lock sound the reason being is when you lock your phone it will play the lock sound twice okay and this is for Samsung's phones for HTC phones it might be slightly different and it might be different on some Samsung phones as well. Now you're going to have to go to lock screen and disable your screen lock. Okay? And again, this is for the Galaxy S3 specifically. Might be different on your phone. And this too, this is the AT&T version. It might be different on the Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, or international version or you get the idea but that's really all there is to configure for hololocker okay so now the next piece of software we're going to have to install from the play store is called jellybean 4.2 keyboard which the free version will do you fine okay so this basically is to replace your keyboard with your stock keyboard you'll still have your stock keyboard but stock Samsung keyboard if you want to still use it afterwards say you don't like this or whatever but we're, I'm going to show you how to set this as your default keyboard so just go ahead and install it and I'll show you how to configure it it's okay so now you're going to have to go to your phone settings okay and now on Samsung phone specifically or on the Galaxy S3 even more specifically you're going to have to go to language and input and go to default and instead of uh, whatever's already checked choose English US or whatever your language is Jelly Bean keyboard, okay? So, you can change the language if you really want to, okay? So, my system language is US English, so it's using the system language. Now, you have English, uh, US, UK English, Afrikaans, Arabic, Belarusian, and yeah pretty much most of the major languages but I'm going to use English US okay so I'm going to show you how this works so as you saw me earlier I'm not really typing anything in specific but this is your swipe okay 
So I'm going to type in swipe. Okay. So there you go. That's how that works. Oh, and if you want to use voice typing. Oh wait, never mind. It was in the the voice icon was in the search bar. Okay. So we're done for this piece of software. Now the next piece of software we're going to have to install is called Nexus 4 Wallpapers. So, go ahead and install that. So now, there's no icon or anything and you can't change it by going to settings or anything like that. That's why this review, that's why this app has such bad reviews. People, some idiots can't find the icon to change it but I have found it so what you do is simply hold down on one of your home screens and tap wallpapers and voila Nexus 4 wallpapers so you can have this one or <coughs> this one this 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 one, this one, this one, well there are too many to go through right now. Mine was this one. So I'm going to set that as my wallpaper. And right now, my phone is pretty much running stock Android. Yep. So, anyways, that's how to make your phone look like it's running stock Android. And... Please rate, comment, and subscribe to me, and we'll see you next time.